Welcome to Fletcher Finance. Let's talk finance, wealth, business, and life. What will the market do? No one knows, but everyone cares. I'm your host, Russell Fletcher, and let's get started. Let's talk about Mike Lindell, also known as the My Pillow Guy. As most people are aware, Mike has had a lot to say over the last couple of years when it comes to the election of 2020 and how Donald Trump was quote-unquote cheated out of winning. After two years of investigations, inquiries, and civil disruptions, it has been pretty much concluded that there was no election fraud or that it was so minuscule that it would not have an effect on who was elected. At the forefront of this fight was and is Mike Lindell, a guy who built an empire on sleeping accessories. Now with all this going on, he has spent a lot of his own money on trying to prove election fraud and has not only not been able to prove it, but has also managed to get himself into a legal and financial quagmire. A couple days ago, video was released from the deposition of a lawsuit that he is involved in, the subject of election fraud. We got to see the true Mike, and it's not the goofy teddy bear Midwesterner that he has portrayed on his advertisements over the years. Anyone who knows about Lindell's past knows that he is a recovering drug user. Good for him. Problem is that long-term drug use can and does lead to what's called stinky thinking, where a recovering person still thinks like a drug addict would. These thinking patterns can usually be kept under control by associating with people who are clear thinking and a person's sober support network. Unfortunately, it looks like Lindell has allowed his stinky thinking to take over and has caused a lot of trouble for himself, his company, and the nation as a whole. This whole messed up thinking pattern of his is likely to lead to the bankruptcy of his company and putting his employees out of work. It's a well-known fact that Mike loves his employees and takes care of them pretty well. There's low turnover at his company and a lot of people have made a career at his company. By allowing himself to be drawn into this stinky thinking and dragging himself into lawsuits, he is allowing himself to be bankrupted and to put his employees in peril. It is sad to see that a company that was so successful and profitable, started by a former drug abuser, is being brought down by this. Lindell is the success story we all wish for as a society for former drug users get clean and become a productive member of society. This is also a classic showing of how drug abuse can and does have long-term effects and damages on people who participate in that activity. The fact that this all comes from false election fraud statements over the past two years has really shown how one little lie can explode into an economic downturn that will literally affect thousands of individual families directly and tens of thousands of families indirectly. Was there election fraud? Yes. Was it as widespread as people like Lindell tried to prove it was? No. False and misleading statements by powerful people can and will drive others to do things that hurt and do injustice to the economy. As of right now, MyPillow has had a couple of asset sales and has had to downsize. It's my opinion that eventually the company will go through liquidation and be closed completely within the next two years. Machinery and assets will be sold off at a deep discount and employees will be let go to try and pick up the pieces again and start over. We as a nation need to start looking deeper into who we are making statements and how those statements may or may not be true. We as a nation need to come to the conclusion that no election is perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect system because all systems are created by people and people are inherently imperfect. I hope that Mike Lindell gets his head on straight again soon 
settles his lawsuits, and starts to rebuild his company. Personally, I'd like to lay my head down on an American-made pillow that provides jobs to Americans. If you like this podcast, please hit the like button below and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you already have not. To make sure you don't miss out on future episodes, tap that bell notification icon and stay updated. Leave your comments below. I do read them all and the discussions can be interesting.